today I'm going to show you how I make my hummus. A lot of people ask me in the restaurant what's the secret. Today you're going to learn the secret. It is time, patient. For hummus you should not rush. Basically you just put the garbanzo beans, the garlic on in the food processor and leave it on for a while. Go have a cup of tea, go check on the laundry, but don't wait because the longer you leave it, that's how basically all the fiber chop and become smooth. Don't add everything together. The lemon juice harden the fiber on the garbanzo beans and that's make it, no matter how long you leave it, it make it a little bit more, of course, never become smooth. I guess uh, chemistry did help after all. So you do, you put the two cups of cooked garbanzo beans. I have six cloves of garlic and garlic is up to you. Garlic what make the, gar the hummus go bad fast. So if you want, if you like a lot of garlic, you have to eat it within one or two days. If you don't like garlic, it will keep longer. Turn it on. So we had about four cooked garbanzo beans, really cooked, nice and soft. About four cloves of garlic, we put in the food processor and you puree it until extremely smooth. And that takes about, by the way, the garbanzo beans, put them with their liquid, with the cooking liquid, because you need that to make it smooth. Uh, so we puree them, I would say about two minutes in a good food processor. It might take longer, make sure it's nice and smooth. At this point, when the garlic and the garbanzo beans smooth, we put some, about one teaspoon of ground cumin salt to taste I put half a cup of tahini so for four cups of garbanzo beans half a cup of tahini and try to find a nice smooth tahini not the dry clumpy one and I put half a cup of lemon juice then you put back again now is the step just basically blend them together. That takes about um, 10 seconds. Now we have our hummus it's ready. Uh, for hummus I always like to make it a day before. It tastes much better when it's a little bit cold. You can make it thicker by adding more garbanzo, more tahini sauce. And then when it cooled down it thickened. When you serve it, just sprinkle some paprika. Some olive oil if you like and bon appetit.